Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 830 G11. To open this small business device, you have to undo only five captive Phillips head screws. Use a lever tool to pop the back in the hinge cover zone as close as possible to the top corners. Pry the middle section as well. When that is done, the upper edges and the whole rear should be fully popped. If not, pry the rear with a thin plastic tool. Then, work your way around the sides and the front. This machine has a 56-watt-hour battery. To remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard by pulling it towards the battery and undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around 14 hours and a half of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Smart Sense mode applied in the MyHP app. The RAM is soldered. Still, you get up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory in dual channel mode. This amount should be enough for normal home or office tasks. The Wi-Fi 6E card is placed in front of the heatsink. The WAN slot for optional 5G or 4G LTE connectivity is positioned close to the fan. We can spot a large cooling pad for the WAN slot on the inside of the bottom plate. When it comes to storage, there is just one M.2 slot compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe is covered with a metal plate which can be removed by carefully lifting its attached fabric handle. The SSD is cooled by small thermal pads on both sides. The position of the lower pad isn't perfect and we fixed it. The cooling is modest. It has a large fan, a single heat pipe, a heat sink, and a heat spreader.